you can see, all my tools are picked up back in their box, which means I'm done. Well, not quite. I actually have to fix these intake boots back here. I got the new gaskets. I just got to get the new boots themselves. Haven't gotten those yet. But other than that, I need to get a new track. Because this fucking track is toast. I mean, it looks up maybe all right on camera, but a lot of the lugs are ripped off. It's just fucking thrashed. No good. But the original problem was I had a leak in the base gasket. Way down here. Oh, fucking exhaust is hot. Way down there. You can see all the fluid on the bottom there. And, uh... I took it all apart, replaced all the gaskets, did all the work to it. But the problem is that when I got the head gaskets, the head gaskets were a little bit too small. So I had to fucking stretch them out, which I stretched them out too much. Or I'm sorry, I didn't stretch them out enough. They wouldn't really stay in their position. So I talked to a buddy of mine, he gave me a trick of uh, putting them in hot water. So the first set I got didn't fit right and the head leaked and it leaked every bit of fluid in the reservoir into the motor um and it was just pissing coolant everywhere white i mean blue smoke and white smoke whatever the fuck you want it was different color smoke everywhere <laughs> um took it apart again replaced all the gaskets again just to be safe torqued everything down to the maximum spec started her up and all the coolant stays in the reservoir which means she's not leaking anymore I wasn't sure if my oil pump, which is way the fuck down there, come on, focus you fag, is right down there. I'm not sure if that's working, so just to be safe, I pre mixed my fuel. And when I get a second, I'll test my oil pump. Anyway, yeah. Give her a pull. Let me turn the key on first. Give her a one pull, and she's ready to go. Yeah, she's finally all done. Just gotta change the boots and put the new track on, and we are ready for the winter. See you soon, guys.